here's a bigger track. Montana Full Circle is brought to you by Buffalo Bore Ammunition, Strictly Business, Leupold Optics, Slumberjack, CVA, Bergara, Bogpod, Caldwell, Tipton, Nanook, Heat Factory, Chef's Choice, Pete Ryer, Zenic, Western Wall Tents, Bitterit Brewing, and Montana Department of Agriculture reminds you to educate yourself on the harmful effects of noxious weeds. We've been getting a pile of snow, the temperature's starting to plummet, and uh, was just driving up the road. And right here at my neighbor's house, there were some fresh tracks this morning. There were uh, kitten tracks and a uh, female lion track here. Kind of got out of my truck and was walking around a little bit just to kind of see what they were doing. And I look over and three feet away from me, there's two kittens just hunkered down. So we backed out of there. Uh, the mom is somewhere else, so we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get some dogs on this female and get them pushed out of here. My neighbor's been having a big problem here lately with a lion. Uh, it's been coming down to my barn looking for house cats, and my neighbor has already had a couple cats killed by this lion. So we're gonna see if we can get the female tree, get her uncomfortable. So hopefully she grabs her kittens and they get out of here after this. Sure startled me when I turned around and had two little mountain lions at three feet from me. With human sprawl now moving a little further into the mountains, we're having more and more issues with these mountain lions coming down into human habitation, and we're having more of these issues with, with mountain lions coming in and, and messing with livestock as well as you know domestic cats and these kind of things. And I have a three-year-old running around here, and a little three-year-old running around screaming. I mean, what a perfect target for a mountain lion. So it's one of these just hitting really close to home, and. Uh, Getting pretty excited here to get out here with Accurate Outfitters, kick the dogs loose and get this female treed and get her uncomfortable and hopefully she moves her, her kittens off and get out of here and, and realizes this is not a place to be raising kittens. I know she went down to the river there. She went down to the creek, and then you can see the tracks coming back this way. And I, I mean, I don't know. There are tracks all over. I mean, the whole, the whole ground's littered. You can just, I mean, they were all over. I was standing, I was standing right here, and the kittens. There was one kitten there and one kitten here. Then they went down here. They went down along the edge there. We got to figure out where the heck mom went. If she crossed back over across the crit over there, I mean, she ain't gonna be far, is she? No. It's amazing how much snow you get in just an hour. So there might there might be maybe there's a tom with this female. Could be. Might even be the one from the other day. Would toms would the toms kill the young to try to get that mom to go back into? I don't know if they're cycle? Like fair or not. Yeah. They hang around because they can breed all year, so. If there's a female, they're always checking year long. Because there could be two, because there was one. That one jumped the fence right there. You can see the snow is knocked off. That one came across with the kittens and jumped the fence, and this one looks like a whole different lion, because that one came from over there. Kind of a mess with this, this many tracks. Different. So, so what happened that the the little well, you kitten? Know, if you, I just need to. I cannot get Casey, and I've got the other dogs in. Thank God, because it was Brady that was going after him. 
And uh, so I know right where he is. He's right kind of under my porch by my office door. You don't want those cubs being raised around the houses to think that this is a good place no. to live. No. You yeah, know. I hope this little guy isn't hurt. But I'm, they're you know, tough. He's a fighter. He, I got scratched on my leg. Oh, he, he hits you too, huh? Yeah, he, he was, you know, he was fighting them, and I was trying to get him apart, get him apart and I just got scratched on my leg. Got no holding my jeans and just, I have any luck, but. Let me come down and give you a hand, Carol, okay. and then uh, okay. we'll just keep plugging. I'll see you in just a minute. Okay. okay. Thanks. Bye. Yep. Bye. I let him out the front door, and they were kind of running around, and then all of a sudden I hear them barking like crazy. Uh-huh. So I, and when I got around there, the kitten was out from under the deck. But this is where he, I saw him here just a little bit ago. He may have moved around a little bit, but I doubt that he would, you know, come out in the open. I think I'm scratched. Yeah, he got my jeans. I don't know, somewhere under here. No big deal. Well, this is what the lion's been eating, just a, a dead mule deer fawn, and that's why the kittens were only 50, 60 yards away this morning. The lions ran down into a bunch of smaller properties, and we, we hate to turn loose and have them run through a bunch of properties, so we're gonna, Hang on, the lions will come back. Um, it looks like there's two, two mature tracks here. It looks like probably a tom and a female and two kittens, so get them pushed out of here. They, they've been living here this last week, killing some neighbor's cats. Now they're eating on this fawn and just too close for comfort. You know, we just can't have these lions running around the houses like this, you know, with, we got, there's livestock around here. My one neighbor raise, raises horses and there's, there's colts and stuff around and, we just, we don't need it. So these would be good ones to get pushed, get them out of here and realize this is not a place to raise kittens and, and get these kittens to realize that houses are not a safe place. So we'll see what we can do and uh, hopefully we can find a good one that we can put that CVA scout to work on and see if we can get it, get something knocked over with that 243. But just another day in the life of Montana. Buffalo bore ammunition is premium grade ammunition. It is the most powerful and accurate ammunition made anywhere. Our loads are purpose designed. When the moment of need arises, you are prepared. We make the world's best self-defense pistol ammunition as well as hunting ammunition. Find us at your local retailer or factory direct at buffalobore.com. Kick him loose. You can see this one is a smaller one. The toes in it are, are narrower and shorter. And over here is a bigger track. You can see the toes are, are more rounded. Looks more like your thumb than it would your pinky. They're probably running together. It's probably a female in heat. Or the Tom's just out checking to see if he can find a female in heat. They breed all year long, so it's a constant rut thing with the Tom lions. Constantly out looking, prowling for the next female in heat. We've had a good year for tracking though, lots of snow. Yeah, lots of snow, it's a little sugary, it's hard to tell sometimes. You're looking at a lot of tracks you probably don't need to, but yep. at least we have the snow. It's yeah, that's good. ice and dirt, so. You can hear those pups sounding off pretty good right now, so. so it's, it's amazing what these GPS, these Garmin GPS dog units have now. I mean, we can see right where the dogs are and, and, and track them, see what they're doing. It'll tell you when they're treed, I mean, it's, it's pretty impressive what Garmin's come out with now. I mean, we, 
How long you been running though, Scott? Seven, eight years. Yeah. Um, same, st I'm still using the same thing I started with. Uh, there is upgrades, but uh, these are working for me. I can find my dog, so. No, Perfect. No real reason to change, I guess. Nope. Nothing like getting out here on a nice brisk morning and, and getting after it, spending some time in the great outdoors and beautiful sunny day. He couldn't ask for nicer weather, so. Yeah. We had lion tracks that's crisscrossing all over the place. And we're on a lion track here, and then there's another lion track there. And these dogs are working hard, but it just it's quite a few zigzagging. Yeah, they're kind of kind of tough. Old ones, new ones. And that was it. You know, they'd be on a fresh one for a while, across an old one, we'd get on that for a little while, and then find the fresh one again, get back on that, and just crisscrossing all over. Got onto a south slope where the sun was heating stuff up a little bit too, and I think that you know. <clears throat> Evaporating a little scent wasn't sticking as good as some days. Yeah. The last couple of years, the biggest problem is we don't have snow come February 1st. We haven't been getting any more snow. Uh, the weather's really changed, and now we're knee deep snow down here where we barely ever have any. So I think the lions are all getting pushed down. The game are concentrated down here, seeing deer and elk. And I learned a big lesson. Instead of going and running everywhere else to go look for lions, Check your driveway first <laughs> and check, check your place before you, you go. could have got a jump on it this yeah. morning. Lupul Gold Ring Optics are built to perform at the highest level. Every shot, every hunt, every competition, every situation. They're guaranteed for a lifetime of performance. Because failure is not an option. You need total confidence in every moment, something other optics can't deliver. That's the power of a true lifetime guarantee. And 650 of us stand behind it forever. Did some hiking this morning. Um, good spot here, there's two different trails. Uh, Adam went up one and I went up the other. And right in the bottom there's Quite a few lion tracks. Some look a little older than others. I think one's fresh enough to run. Uh, they they must have a kill here on the hill. There's some birds flying around and uh, quite a few around from different days. We like to get out and do hiking on some of these gated roads and, and trails. A lot of the times the lions won't cross the road. They know what when they cross the road, they get dogs on them. So uh, a lot of times the lions try and avoid, avoid the roads. Uh, just kind of like elk hunting and stuff too. You know, you stick to the roads and you see a little bit, you get off of it and usually Same as elk. lions got it you figured out. You don't kill too many big bulls from the road, so no. why would you kill lions from the road? Well, let's go find that home. Let's try it. Let's make it happen. we got some happy dogs here. I think they're ready to go. Yeah, so ready. let's get it. All right, we'll see what happens. Jim. Might not be the freshest track, but uh, these dogs can do it. There's a track right up here that comes back up and hits the trail and goes up the trail. So I don't know if it's the same track. There's different tracks, bigger ones and smaller ones. So there's a kill somewhere. See what the dogs do, they should find the freshest track and we'll go from there. The dogs sound like they're treeing right now. Around the corner here in the next draw, their GPS says 415. So uh, we'll get around to where we can hear them and we'll know better if it's a tree bark or if they're still moving. Oh, 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 oh,
Good girl, Missy. You got him, Miss. I was able to get out with Scott Fillingham from Accurate Outfitters today, a good buddy of mine. And uh, he went up one creek, I went up another one, and uh, he picked the cr proper creek, it looked like, and he won. <laughs> Well, there's, a few lion there's a few lion tracks up there. Um, I'm not sure if this is the one we turned loose on or not, but it was obviously the freshest ones. The dogs saw it anyway. And there's a good little hike. There's snow's pretty deep up top. <laughs> yeah, there. it's deep. Yeah, yeah, getting up into your crotch, crush, breaking through some crust, and there's a sugar underneath, waist deep in snow. Only three miles deep into it, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's not so far the how far it is, it's how deep the snow is and some of that. Absolutely. And there was one good tom track. We ended up harvesting a female here. Um, in this unit, as most units, there's a quota. Um, they have female quota and male quota. In this unit, still everything's still open, so. The deer and the elk numbers are back on a rebound from, from the wolves um, overtaking a lot of that. Uh, we're finally starting to get the wolf numbers back more in check, but the lion numbers now we're finding are really high. So giving out a lot of tags, trying to get in here, get rid of some of these females. Um, this female was dry, didn't have any any cubs with her. However, we've ran across a few others this, this fall, this earlier, winter. Earlier, that, there was quite a few with, with cubs. So we couldn't turn loose, but that's all right. And uh, we're hoping for a big time. We've been seeing some really good tracks. Stoked to pull out this 243 CVA 243 Scout. Actually, absolutely worked phenomenal. Uh, matched that with a loophole scope. And I mean, there, there's nothing better. Had a great time, little buffalo boar ammunition did the trick on this girl. She got knocked right out of that tree, went down about 30 yards and piled up, so. Uh, but these dogs can't say enough for them. Took us a lot longer than we wanted to to have to get to the tree, but these they dogs probably just- probably treed two hours. They, they just held up on it. If you guys have never tried mountain lion, it's absolutely delicious. If you like pork, it tastes like sweet pork. The loins on, they got nice long loins on there, good roast. Uh, excited to put some, some more meat in the freezer. I got elk in there, I got deer in there. I got some mountain lion. And uh, bear and turkey season just around the corner, so. Coming up, in a hurry. It won't be long, so. Well, good hunt, we better, better get her taken care of and get the dogs down. They deserve their dinner tonight, yeah. for sure. Let's they definitely earned it. Feed them a little extra. Maybe even a hot dog, huh, Gim? <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Well, after a good successful mountain lion hunt, it's good to have some neighbors and friends over. We're cooking up, uh, I got some uh, shrimp wrapped, mountain lion wrapped bacon. Throw that on the grill. We've got some elk we're cooking up. Good time in the winter, take a little bit of time and catch up with some neighbors, uh, cook up a bunch of wild game and have a bonfire. So drink a few beers and talk some hunting stories. It's always good to have, have good people over and be able to get the neighbors all together. So.
Montana Full Circle is brought to you by Buffalo Bore Ammunition, Strictly Business, Leupold Optics, Slumberjack, CVA, Vergara, Bogpod, Caldwell, Tipton, Nanook, Heat Factory, Chef's Choice, Pete Dryer, Zenic, Western Wall Tents, Bitterit Brewing, and Montana Department of Agriculture reminds you to educate yourself on the harmful effects of noxious weeds.